boners. I felt a boner. There's a boner in the story. Hi guys, welcome back to Dear Teen Diary. I am Greta, this is my office. And I actually need to start our video off with a little bit of a disclaimer and that's because I post links to these videos on my Facebook wall and I am Facebook friends with a lot of my family. So if you couldn't tell by the title of this entry, we are going to start having sexual experiences and I like to get pretty descriptive. One of the things Katie and I first bonded over was that we both liked to write Harry Potter erotica. She liked to write Draco Hermione. I liked to write Harry and Draco. So I am no stranger to words like trembling and throbbing. Also, side note, when I read the entry that I'm about to share with you, I got extremely confused and it turns out that I apparently had broken up with Ben. Ben wasn't on board with my raging hormones and needing a place, a safe place to project all of those desires into. So I kicked him to the curb, started pursuing someone who did want to fulfill those desires of mine. Anyway, <laughs> November 28th, 2001. Jesus, what's even going on up here? Dear Diary, today I went to school after staying home yesterday with a case of a broken heart. Tom called last night with a glimmer of hope. Unfortunately, as I suspected, I was shot down when I went to the play tryouts and did really bad on the stepmother role for Cinderella wore combat boots, but I think I did good with the fairy god person. After tryouts, Tom and I walked to my house. In the chunk of woods behind the tennis courts, we French kissed, and then again on the sidewalk. When I found out he'd never made out before, I held him close. His mouth was so salty. It was strange. I could feel his erection right by what I wanted him in. Nope. Stay out of my vagina. We had been holding hands, and as we finished walking to my house, he had his arm around me. We got to my house and went down to my room so he could use my phone to call his mom. We flirted lots after because his mom wasn't coming for 20 minutes. I was tickling his chest on his supposed man boob when I asked why that bothers a guy toying with their nips. Nips, nips. He said it was as if a guy just reached his hand down a girl's pants. I shrugged. Then he gave an example by pretending he was going to, I barely even blinked. Quote, oh my God, you were going to let me, weren't you? He says, quote, I was, I reply. Quote, but would you still? He whispered, sliding his hand in my pants and under my panties. I look at him and he leans over and we start with some lippy kissing he moves his hand and starts moving a finger around, sadly way to the left of my clit. Eventually, I unsnap the button and slowly let down the zipper. His hand moves further and after a moment, he makes it right to my glistening wet opening. I told you that I am a very descriptive writer and that I've been writing lots of Harry Potter slash, so you just shut your dumb face right now because I know you're laughing at me, but it would have probably been glistening if there had been, you know, a lamp in my pants. <laughs> oh my god. He starts to massage it, but just as I'm about to hand my whole body to him, the floor above creaks under someone's weight. Just barely starting to grow fully excited, I realize he has abandoned my side and is once again bolt upright. I turn away from him and zip up my fly. Later, we walk around outside and then to the driveway where he insists that throwing snowballs to the other side of the street is fun. 
Eventually, I find out that that had been a first for him, too, and that now he's sure we should just be friends because it felt right when he did it, and he didn't think he would be tempted to screw other girls quite as much, and he thinks I would just let him fuck me. So now he was supposed to be on the phone with me half an hour ago because when I called earlier today, he said he would call me back a half hour before bed. So I called him at 8.30 because he hadn't called yet. He, turns out, is trying to arrange something with this girl from tryouts to go on a group date with her because apparently he'd had a crush on her some while ago, and now she kind of likes him, so he'll call me at 9.30 now, with, quote, at least enough time to say goodnight. He told me the last thing he'd want is to drift from me, but just a day later, he's already letting it happen. Maybe I just want it to happen. He felt so empty when I was holding to his arm before play tryouts. I know he's holding something back about why he's not with me, but if it's going to hurt me more, maybe it's better that way. I've given up again. If only he'd never gotten my hopes up last night like I'd asked him not to. And if only he'd go with his instinct instead of running from fears. But should I let him drift from me? Greta, November 28th, 2001. Okay. So now Tom's excuse for why he won't date me is because he doesn't want to go all the way with a girl, and he thinks that, like, I am just so tempting and so, like, DTF that he would definitely have sex with me if we started dating. But if he dates a different girl who's, like, not as tempting to have sex with, that he'll be able to, like, remain pious or whatever the fuck he thinks he's trying to do. Which... I will not say is complete bullshit because I could see someone being all, I want to save myself for marriage or something, especially in like ninth, 10th grade. Some people still have that. Yeah, and some people have that until they get married and that's fine. But in my personal expert opinion, <laughs> yes, I'm totally an expert. He just wanted to know if he could have sex with me. And once he like was like, check totally could have slept with her he just moved on to be like next girl although i don't know why he didn't bother actually having sex with me so i guess that's good that he didn't hit it and quit it that's like sort of decent of him because i'm i'm a virgin this i'm pretty sure is the first time someone ever touched my vagina can't believe i called his nipples nips i actually hate the word nipple when it comes to dirty talk. There's no sexy way to say nipple. But there's no good word for nipple. You need to be specific with what you want in the bedroom, and there's no specific word for just the nipple other than nipple. So I, I guess my solution at the time was to call them nips. If you live somewhere where you can try Topo Chico and you haven't tried it yet, you're wrong. Well, thank you for joining me on the maiden voyage of my sexual fulfillment. <laughs> Even though this one wasn't very fulfilling, like the video for glistening wet openings. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to continue to hear fabulous drum erotica. And I'm going to put a link to the last video up here. There will be a link to the next video down here next week. I've decided I'm going to be uploading one video a week on Fridays. So check back on Friday. And I think that's it. Have a great day. Bye.